Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Gut. Um, lately, on one of my episodes, there was a comment. It was, I think, it was the Sabayona one. Um, of one of my followers, who I believe is Swedish, um, named Gore, or the username is Gore. And the question was, what are your favorite desserts? And she answered tiramisu. And I really like tiramisu too, but I don't like coffee desserts. So the tiramisu I like is the strawberry tiramisu, the berry tiramisu. So today we're making strawberry tiramisu. And the season has just started for Swiss strawberries. They're not perfect yet, but they're for sure very good and good enough for a good strawberry tiramisu. But before we start and we have a look at the ingredients, as always, please do me the favor and click the subscribe button. You can always check, also check the little bell icon that gives you notifications when new episodes come online, which by the way is every Tuesday and Thursday. But now let's have a look at this. We have about one kilo of strawberries. I'm gonna use them for three different things. I'm gonna use them for uh, making a syrup to kind of dip the lady fingers in. We're gonna chop some up to mix with the mascarpone cream. And we're gonna slice some just to put on top of the tiramisu. Um, yeah, so about a kilo of that. Um, about half a kilo of lady fingers, 500 grams, 500 grams of mascarpone. A hundred and, let me think now, 150 grams of sugar, six eggs, oop, a lime, and some mint. The lime and the mint is for the um, strawberry syrup, just to give a bit of extra flavor to that. But since the strawberry syrup takes the longest, let's start with that first. So to make the strawberry syrup, I have my bain-marie pan, or pot, it's just kind of a pot with two two shells in it so that you have water in between. If you don't do, have one of those, just use a normal pot, put water in that, and then use kind of a, a bowl, a metal bowl, to put the strawberries in. So let's put, I would say almost half of the ones we have here. You can leave the stalks on, it just doesn't matter for this. So, that's good. We put in the leaves of the mint. The lime we don't put in now, we use it just to kind of squeeze in some lemon juice at the end. And this is, we more go by feeling. I need quite a bit of sugar in this, like that. So that is in addition to the measured sugar I told you about. The measured sugar is to go into the mascarpone cream. And now we need to seal this with some cling film. I have to be careful not to seal the little pip there. So that's where the steam comes out. And this is just to keep the juices in, because that's what we're after. We're after kind of the, the liquid that's in the strawberry naturally. And then you put that on the stove. We'll have to see, I would say about 45 minutes, 50 minutes, something like that, and then you'll have enough liquid. And while we're making the syrup, we can basically do everything else during that time. The strawberries, as I said, I'm gonna do two different ones. We're gonna have some that are sliced quite fine. Oh, well, like that. And some other ones that are just kind of, it's not the right knife for the job, but chop them up roughly to go into the cream. Like that. Because you kind of, you want to, you want to feel them when you eat it. So not too fine. Just chop them up like that. And that we do with, with the rest of the strawberries that we have. So we're done with the strawberry prepping. It's a little bit of cutting, but nothing difficult. You see what we have, one bowl with chopped up and one with sliced up. Sliced up for on top and the chopped up to mix in with the mascarpone cream. Now it's time for the mascarpone cream itself. It's basically egg, sugar and mascarpone. But first we need to separate the yolks. 
and this is the easiest way. Just crack all the eggs in one bowl and then kind of pick up the yolks. Anything that requires hard egg whites, you need to make sure that they're clean. I will transfer them to a bigger bowl. And since I'm feeling a bit weak today, we're doing it the electrical way. Now the test, upside down, works. We'll just clean this. Now it's time for our yolks. And the yolks, we put all the sugar in. That looks good. Now we get our mascarpone in there. And we can actually use the whisk for this, but very slow, very gently, like on the lowest. And the last thing we need to do is to fold in the egg whites. Take a little bit at the beginning. And with this first part, you don't have to be too careful. So just make sure you mix that in well. Like so. And now we fold in. And to finish it off are chopped strawberries. Fold them in as well. You can put it in the fridge. We have to wait a little bit to, for the syrup to finish, but then we'll assemble. Our syrup is ready. Mm. Smells wonderful. The strainer. Let's go ahead and strain this here. I want some lime juice in there to freshen it up a bit. Stir it up a bit. So this is the assembly line for the lady fingers. We have our lady fingers, our syrup, and our tiramisu form. Three seconds. My form is a bit too big, so I'm not gonna fill this part. That's just gonna be pure mascarpone, which is fine as well, because I still wanna have enough lady fingers to make two layers. So now we put our mascarpone cream on top. And to the side here, we just fill it up. We know there's no biscuit, but that's okay. The cream is good by itself. That's okay, that will take some moisture from the mascarpone cream as well. There's actually a little bit left here, so I will pour that over. And the last layer of mascarpone cream. Now the last thing we have to do is to put our strawberries on top. So I just covered the part where the biscuit is, because here it will just sink in anyways. Now we'll put it in the fridge, five hours. Our tiramisu has been in the fridge now for a good, it's been almost eight hours. And as you can see, if you look at the top camera, in those eight hours, we had some guests. So. That's what food is there for, right? To eat it. So let's serve it for this purpose now. It's, fir it's firmed up nicely. I can't wait to dig into this now. Let's go for it. Mm. 
for someone who actually really loves the ma mascarpone cream of uh, a classical tiramisu, but doesn't like coffee in combination with desserts, this is the best thing. It's the original recipe, just leaving out the coffee and instead adding strawberries. I'm not going to talk to you a lot about what it tastes like and whatever, because you know what a tiramisu tastes like. It tastes like a tiramisu, an original tiramisu with eggs, just without the coffee, and add back strawberries. Perfect spring, well, maybe more summer dessert. Once, once strawberries are slowly coming in season and they don't taste watery and you have like local strawberries, then you can start making this. As always, if you stuck with me this long, there must have been something you liked about me and the episode. So please do me a favor, click the like button below. And I would be even happier if you would leave a comment. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you maybe didn't like, what you want to see in the future. I mean, that's how this episode came about. Someone told me they loved tiramisu. And I thought, hmm, I actually love tiramisu too, but not the original coffee kind. So let's make a strawberry tiramisu. Uh, and if you haven't done so yet, please also click the subscribe button. That's it for this time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.